May 30th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Romans chapter 12 of the New Testament. Therefore I exhort you, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a sacrifice, alive, holy, and pleasing to God, which is your reasonable service. Do not be conformed to this present world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, so that you may test and approve what is the will of God what is good and well-pleasing and perfect. For by the grace given to me, I say to every one of you, not to think more highly of yourself than you ought to think, but to think with sober discernment, as God has distributed to each of you a measure of faith. For just as in one body we have many members, and not all the members serve the same function, so we who are many are one body in Christ, and individually we are members who belong to one another. And we have different gifts according to the grace given to us. If the gift is prophecy, that individual must use it in proportion to his faith. If it is service, he must serve. If it is teaching, he must teach. If it is exhortation, he must exhort. If it is contributing, he must do so with sincerity. If it is leadership, he must do so with diligence. If it is showing mercy, he must do so with cheerfulness. Love must be without hypocrisy. Abhor what is evil, cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another with mutual love, showing eagerness in honoring one another. Do not lag in zeal. Be enthusiastic in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Endure in suffering. Persist in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints. Pursue hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Do not be conceited. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Consider what is good before all people. If possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all people. Do not avenge yourselves, dear friends, but give place to God's wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. Rather, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him a drink, for in doing this you will be heaping burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. God, I had a friend of mine text me the other day. I really want to fall in love with God. And I thought about that a lot. Um, and, and I knew what he meant. The person who was coming from, I, I completely understood what he meant. But I think about that in relationship to what I just read. That we, a lot of times in that relationship, put the cart before the horse. And maybe part of that is our society. We want to be in love first and then the relationship can follow. Um, it's not how it works. Uh, our relationship with you is something that we work on, just like we would any other relationship we have in our life. If we have a spouse, we spend time with them, we talk to them, uh, we get to know them better. We figure out their likes, we figure out their dislikes. Uh, anything that we can learn more and more about them is helpful to that relationship. And it's so fascinating that in that second verse you say, do not be conformed to this present world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may test and approve what is the will of God, what is good and well-pleasing and perfect. And I think of that in the relationship with you, that I didn't fall in love with you and then the rest of the relationship happened. The relationship started, I wasn't in love with you. It was, it was a process of you had come to me, you had chosen me, and me trying to figure out what that relationship looked like, how to respond, what to do, what you were asking me to do, and how I was going to react to that. And so the first thing that I knew I needed to do, well, the first two things, was talk to you. <laughs> you can have a relationship without talking to someone. So the first thing is just talk to you, tell you what my concerns are, tell you what my hopes and dreams are, tell you what I'm confused about, can you help me find my way? And then part two was reading the Bible. 
it was a manual you handed to us from you to me I've always said it's a book filled with love letters from you uh, but that has come in a process since I have fallen in love with you and I now see it as as this beautiful <laughs> shoe box filled with all these amazing letters from you uh, tied with ribbon that's what I envision because they truly are just these amazing love letters of of how much you love us but in the beginning I wasn't in love with you I was trying to figure out what this relationship looked like um, Maybe it was a little bit of puppy dog love, but, but we know that that isn't real and doesn't last. Um, and so I started a relationship in the sense of learning more about you and reading this manual, this Bible that you had given me. And every day that I read it, I learned more and more about you. My mind was being transformed. My life was being transformed and my heart was being transformed. And so as I learned more about what our relationship looked like, God, I was able to test and approve what was the will of God, your will versus my will, what I want, not only wanted to do, but had been doing for such a long period of my life. But the only way I could do that was by working on this relationship. There were many people I saw who were madly in love with you, and some of the times I thought they were really weird, <laughs> and other times I coveted what they had. I so wanted to be in a relationship with you. I wanted to be in love with you. I wanted to understand what they were going through. But I've learned over time that the only way to do that is to work hard in this relationship, to learn more about you, to be in communication with you, and, and then live out what you've taught me in my day in and day out life. And through that, I have just, I have just fallen more and more in love with you, God. To the point that I can't imagine tomorrow I could be more in love with you, but yet every morning I wake up and that happens. But it only comes from doing my end of the relationship, which is working on it, talking to you, being in, in your word on a daily basis, sometimes minute by minute basis, depending upon what I'm going through. Um, I'm really growing in this relationship and not allowing it to become stagnant. God, I thank you for your part of this relationship, how devoted you are to my well-being, how much you love me. I thank you for your grace and mercy in this relationship. You've let so many stupid things I've done in this relationship fall to the wayside. Other things you've loved me enough to, to discipline me over, all out of this amazing love that I will never understand, no, mad, no matter how deep our relationship goes. God, thank you for this amazing love that you have given me. Thank you for this heart that is now yours. Thank you for the world around me, that even though there's drama and uncertainty and so-called bad situations happening in my life, I know that you will never leave me, that you will always be here right by my side. I love you very much. In your son's name I pray. Amen.